So, Chris, a brilliant 3 2 win today in Ilkeston. What are your thoughts on today's game? Well, what can I say? I thought the lads were outstanding uh, from minute one. Some of the football we played in the first half was, you know, outstanding. I thought the third goal, I mean, we've had three goals disallowed in a period of the game where we was totally dominating. And uh, I thought the third goal that was disallowed was, was well onside. And it should have been more of a, a comfortable scoreline with how well we played. But we can't take nothing away. It's all down to the players today. You know, I've treat, tweaked one or two things, changed the shape, asked them to do one or two things that they've, they've not done uh, a lot of under, the, obviously, the, the previous manager. But I, I felt our football at times was, yeah, it was a joy to watch. Uh, David Norris and Charlie Bailey both got on the score sheet today. How important was it for Charlie Bailey to get that first goal so early in the second half? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that really did settle us down. Um, yeah, again, the, the two goals were conceded. We are disappointed. You know, with a set piece, I thought the, uh, the way we responded off the back of that, because I felt we were on top at that time. It was a slight setback. But, um, you know, we put that to bed, that disappointment, and uh, scored a couple of good goals. And like I say, we've had three goals disallowed in the first half. And on another day, we could have been comfortably winning at half time. And uh, yeah, as I say, second half, we've had to dig deep, keep disciplined, be responsible in our shape as they started to throw bodies forward and uh, get something out of it. You know, there isn't too many teams going to come here and um, do to them what we've done to them today. So all the credit goes to the players. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the journey on the way home. We noticed the team from today only had one change from the team at Bradford with Brad Carroll coming back into the starting eleven. What was your reasoning behind that today? Yeah, tough one. You know, Matty's not done too much wrong, um, but I just felt we needed a um, change of shape and, and match them up. Uh, and for me, it was the right decision. Players won't see that because they want to play. You know, I've apologised for Matty for leaving him out and that's just the nature of it. You know, but he'll come again. He'll get in the team and, and play you know, plenty of minutes for the club between now and the end of the season. But uh, Brad Carroll coming back in, he needed some minutes in his legs. He's trained really well. You know, we planned on giving him an hour and then looking to build from there. And as I thought, I thought him, Norris and Sloane, first half, um, dominate the midfield. We face Workington next Saturday at home. How can we maintain this unbeaten run going? Well, the plan is, is to try and perform like we've done today. Um concede less if we can and uh, but again it's going to be another really tough fixture the lads seem to enjoy themselves on the 4G I must admit you know the two performances we've had away from home on 4G um, you know we've scored six goals we've looked very threatening a um, couple of different shapes so that's really pleasing from my point of view and uh, you know we're back at home our surface ain't quite as, as nice as this one which is a shame but uh, as I say, we focus on today. We get, you know, we go and enjoy the weekend now because the lads, you know, totally deserve everything they've got out of the game today. Thank you for your time, Grace, and congratulations today. Thank you.